Kristen, welcome. Hi. So do you have any tips or tricks for people that are shopping for the holidays this season? So when it comes to the holidays, there's actually some pretty good savings the last minute. If you didn't completely knock out your budget during Black Friday, try shopping in the few weeks before Christmas because retailers are going to really want to offload toys, seasonal items, and things people like to give as gifts. So there's plenty of last minute savings in store. Okay. And are people going to see benefits shopping online or should they go in person? There's no reason to go in person if you don't have to. And if you like the best of both worlds, most major retailers offer in-store pickup these days. So you can shop online, take advantage of online promo codes and the convenience factor, and then go pick up your stuff the same day if you don't want shipping. And speaking of in-store pickup, that's a really great tool to have in your arsenal if you like to shop at the last minute, because at that point, you're either paying a lot for shipping or your stuff isn't going to arrive on time. So if you like to shop online and you like to shop on the last minute, take advantage of that in-store pickup. And a lot of stores at the last minute as well will offer in-store pickup discounts. So you choose them over their competitors. So definitely keep an eye out for those. You could get five or 10% off your order just for picking up in-store. Are there any other tips or tricks you'd offer people? Keep those shipping deadlines in mind. And if you're doing any kind of custom gift, those generally need a little bit more lead time. Um, so some people can get caught at the last minute thinking they're getting something in time and then, oh, they got to pay 20 extra dollars in shipping to get it on time. So make sure you're keeping that in mind. I always feel an enormous amount of anxiety as the date approaches. Uh, is there anything that, any advice you could give shoppers that could reduce that amount of stress? These days, it's not necessary to give someone a physical gift. And I think, you know, getting someone a thing that they're going to use, unless you know exactly what they want, can be very intimidating. It's fine to give someone a gift card to a retailer you know they shop. Give them that chance to self-gift, especially with inflation, what it is. Everyone's looking for, you know, a chance to treat themselves. You can get them a restaurant gift card. Everyone goes out to eat. Um, you can get them a retailer gift card. Um, and then there's also a lot of subscription services that can be um, really fun. You can get them a clothing subscription service, um, a subscription box that they can look forward to receiving all year long, maybe a masterclass subscription that they can use or an audiobook subscription. So there's a lot of these things beyond physical gifts that a lot of people find useful, but might not necessarily buy for themselves. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Kristen, for your time today. Yeah, of course.